Welcome to another video by DJS PRC. Today we have the Spectrum S1100, one of the Spectrum's newest charger they came out. The S1100 stands basically for a single port, 100 watts. It's an AC smart charger. And they did the menu a little bit different from the other models they have. Um, yeah, I like this one. Let's open the box and see what comes with it. When you open the box, you're greeted by the manual. One of the first thing I would recommend is to read this, even if you're watching this video here. S1100 single port AC smart charger, 100, one times 100 watts. This manual will explain a lot about the charger. Again, even if I'm showing you this video, please read this. Let's try to take the charger out itself. Here we have the charger. Put this aside. And I guess the power cord doesn't want to come out. It does come with an adapter to convert to small to big, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. Then we have the power cord here. Let me unwrap this and plug it in. I unwrapped the charger. It's on my desk right now. This is the adapter that comes with it because the physical charger itself has an IC3 output. And when you want to charge the IC5s, the burger guys, you need this. But what's fun about this guy here, it comes with it. The S2100, that's the big brother of this guy. It's a dual. They don't even come with it, the older models. I have the uh, S1200 here too. It did come with one but basically to power it off the power supply because this one's AC. It's good for one cell to two to six cell, the main port here. You have on the side of the charger itself, a uh, micro USB to do updates on it. On the other side, you have absolutely nothing. And in the back, you have the fan and the AC adapter. Now, if we go in the physical menu here, it's telling me no battery detected, long press for menu. And I know you guys can't really see this, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in, hoping the camera lets me do this. Sometimes for some reason, she, the camera's dif being difficult with me. You see a charger ready, smart, and the battery indicator blinking with a question mark. Now, before I plug in the battery, let's go in the menu and let's see what's happening. They say long press. Now we're in the physical menu. Now I know it's for some reason you can't really see it. First, you'll have the task. In the task, if you select it, you'll have charge discharge and storage try to see if the camera there you go see a little bit better there and you can select which one now i will keep it on charge battery type this charger will do lithium high voltage i'll do lipos lithium ion life pb NIMH and NICAD. Then you have the cell counter. You can tell it what kind of battery you're charging. Now, what's fun about this charger again? With the smart, you don't need to. Now, if you're charging a non-smart battery, you can tell it what's happening. I'm gonna leave it on three cell. The current five amps, you can start that, decide that. And then you have the start and the smart setting. Then you have the system setting, 
in charge history. Charge history will tell you how many times you charge a battery, things like that. Now, charge cycle says one because I did do a test on it. Now, if we go into system setting, you'll have the backlight volume for the tone and when you're playing with it. Uh, completion tone, if you want it to repeat itself. Touch sensitivity, how you want the dial to fast you want the menu to go through it. You have language. Then you have a self test. And on this one you have calibrate. Now when you select calibration, no balance intended or error because it doesn't see the battery. We're just gonna press on it and tell it to back off. System info tells information about the charger itself. Then we have back. Then we hit back again, and then we're back where the physical battery says not detected. Let's plug in our battery here. Now, I have an extension. That way I don't have the battery in my way. No, I know you can't really see it. I'll bring the charger up. The main port's not even plugged in yet. And come on, there we go. And the battery is already seeing the cells. Now I'll plug in the main port. The charger itself automatically is ready to start charging. Even it started charging itself. And I, for, I really doesn't want to focus in today. Let's see here, here we go. Uh, on what's new about this charger here, compared to the older models, is basically you do have the physical bar here that indicates the complete battery itself. On the other one, it doesn't really tell you that. It gives you a percentage, but this tells you where it's happening, where the battery is. Some people like it, somebody don't. I don't mind it. Uh, basically, it's telling me charge time remaining, five minutes, the milliamp that is going in, and this is the charge rate on it. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a press and hold. I'm going to hit stop because I don't want to charge it. Now, if you do press down on the, the, the jog here, gives you what's happening with your battery, uh, what percentage she is in, and what's the voltage itself. And in this way, that's the only information she's giving you. Now, long press, and we're going to go to the smart setting. Now, it, it is set up already for auto storage at 81 hours. Basically, if you never heard about what the Spectrum Smart Battery is, you don't need to put your batteries in, uh, in storage mode. After a certain amount, you decide on the time, it will do it by itself. I decided to put my battery at 81 hours. You can decide whatever you want to. You can say, go in storage mode in 200 hours. You decide that. Now it's charge rate, what the chip is programmed to charge at a 7.5. Charge voltage, uh, storage voltage. You can decide when she goes in storage mode what you want. I left that 3.8. And when you go to battery history, tells me how many times it's been cycled. How many times it's been charged, I say. Three times, this is a brand new battery. Uh, and battery temperature, 89 Fahrenheit. That I'm not sure if you can change them in Celsius for us Canadians here. And then full log. There's nothing because it doesn't have a log. It's a brand new battery. If I would have any issues with it, it will tell me. That's what, fun, what I like about this one here. 
Uh, they put it less complicated compared to the other ones. Then you go back to system setting, charge history. If you clicked on it, again, it's the same thing it was input voltage. That's the power supply. And then the charger temperature, 93. Charge cycle, only been charged. The charge has been used once to charge. That's one of the reasons. That's why I did a test earlier to make sure. Go back out. Hit back. And then we're back to our main menu. The S100, 1100 should I say, is less complicated compared to the other older version they have. Um, that's one of the things I do like about Spectrum. They're evolving constantly with their chargers. They're not staying one type of menu and then never upgrading, never doing anything uh, easier. That's one of the things I do recommend the S1100 from Spectrum. And if you have guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching.